crested geckos have been blowing up in popularity the last couple years and in this video i'm going to tell you my top three crested gecko morphs for 2022. so we're going to start with none other than the lily white crested geckos these are one of my absolute favorite morphs since the day i saw them and the reason they're on my top 2022 crested gecko morphs is because of the potential that they still have there are so many new morphs coming out with the cappuccinos with the lily white xanthics so it is just the the potential on this guys is endless as you can see my boy here social justice warrior he has crazy amounts of white and speckling and red going through the in the background and this is why it's so interesting to work with these guys because when you start to mix this coloration when you start to mix this morph with other morphs is when you start to get really really awesome looks now one of my favorite things to do with the lily white morph is to breed them to the extreme harlequins or the pinstripes now the next morph i want to talk to you guys about is the super dalmatian these guys are insane and they're rising in popularity pretty quickly now my favorite in particular are the yellow super dalmatians and the reason is because of that contrast between the light background and the black spots this guy here his name is chester he's one of my more popular popular Dalmatians I cannot stop looking at them when I take them out now these are two more super Dalmatians that we have growing up none of these are related to Chester but you can see the amount of spots that they have now of course like any other morph there is a, uh, a difference in the expression that each animal can have this one particularly has a couple more spots this one has a lot of spots but they're a little bit smaller now both of these guys are gonna make excellent breeders and you could make really really nice super dalmatians with either of these two males now if you don't have any super dalmatians the way you get them is by breeding two dalmatians together about one in four babies from those eggs will be super dalmatians so anything the lily white touches basically turns into gold this on my left hand is a yellow hypo lily white and you can see he is super clean coloration very high white a lot of drip on his dorsal and on his sides and on my right hand is a red tricolor lily white both these geckos are absolutely gorgeous and without the lily white gene it would take about four generations to get to something like this and the lily white just speeds things up basically it makes the colors pop a lot more and it just gives them that bright cream and white that we all love now my last morph for 2022 is a tricolor harlequin one of my favorite all-time crested gecko morphs and for a very good reason these guys are just absolutely crazy. I'm trying to prevent this guy from jumping away. But as you can see, the tricolor is just as the name says. It is basically three colors in one animal. Now, the cream coloration on the back pattern, the orange markings on the sides, and then the dark coloration on his background. Now, this is probably one of the most, this is probably one of my biggest tricolors I have. But as you can see, he's very distinct. Like you could see the color differentiation right away. And this guy, not so much, but if you look closely, he also has some tangerine influence in his markings, which is, you know, why these guys could be so popular. They're so variable. And of course the markings, is just such a busy looking pattern that it just, it makes anybody fall in love with these guys. Morph, gecko, bonus. Now a bonus morph that I wanted to show you guys is this tangerine line crested gecko. Now this guy's base color ranges from anywhere from a really light orange just like this to a really nice salmon pink. Now this is one of my favorite projects that I have going on that I haven't been speaking too much about. And you can see the tangerine influence on the dorsal and on the sides of this gecko. Now one of the coolest things about this morph is that when we have been breeding it to lily whites, we get lily whites that have a full tangerine dorsal and laterals. I've, I know some of you guys have seen them on my website, uh, maybe like one or two of you guys have actually bought the ones we've sold, but this is where that line comes from. A tangerine line lily white from our uh, breeding groups is coming from this guy right here. And this is uh, Majin Buu. He is one of my favorite new little geckos. That's, this is his first year breeding, and I'm gonna show you his dad. And this guy here on my right hand is Tang, and he is the father of Majin Buu. He is the craziest looking gecko I've ever seen in person. He has this like creamsicle looking color, coloration, and his base color goes from like a salmon to like a very weird pinkish hue. It's hard to explain, and honestly, 
I didn't really understand what this breeder called AC, uh, Anthony Caponato, was talking about when he made this line. But until I saw him in person, then I, you know, understood very well what he was talking about. This is something that can't be really picked up on camera as good as, you know, when you see it in person. All right, guys, and those are my top three, well, for Crested Gecko Morris for 2022. Make sure you check out our website if you're looking for any of these Morris, and see you guys on the next one.